What's up, everybody? I am Ghostboy Colby. As promised, I'm back here recording another episode of uh, Bioshock in Rapture. Um, trying to figure out how to get to this security camera without getting caught. Here we go, here we go. Had to uh, catch it when it was on the other side. So, looks like we're not going to be finding a lot of horizontal lines, very easily at least. Um, basically our mission right now is to collect the necessary uh, components, I guess, to piece together the Lazarus Vector. I, I'm still not entirely sure what the Lazarus Vector is, besides basically, as far as I can tell, just a, like a antidote. To the poison that uh, Andrew Ryan is putting into the air of Arcadia. Other than that, I don't. I think it's some. It's some kind of like. A, you know, it's plant-based. I just don't. I don't know. From the tapes, it sounded like it was supposed to be some sort of genetically engineered super tree. Uh, maybe that produced like really good quality like air or something like that that's all i can piece together the children i'm not even really the sure that it's right the songs there ghastly errands Okay, this one's impossible. Awesome. We all pull it and are pulled by it. Yes, these children are an abomination. But it is not my hand alone on the chain that created them. No. Their little fingers were right there, next to mine. Yeah, Andrew Ryan's kind of a fucking monster. If you, if you couldn't tell by now, he's he's not the good guy. Um. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Right, man, take a cat's playing with some fish sticks. see me look over at the floor or something, I'm probably looking at my cat trying to make sure he's not tearing up something that he's not supposed to be playing with. Oops. Didn't realize that I already had a horizontal one. There we go. Tricky, please, please be safe. Ha, <laughs> oh, what? What? No way. That was really lucky. Okay, there we go. That might just be the easiest safe hack ever. Um, it's starting to look like we should be using our chemical thrower here. I mean, you, you could call it a flamethrower, but that's not entirely accurate because it, it shoots more than just fire, so. I mean, but then again. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I could take him. Hold on. Shot. I don't know who's doing it. He better not be. Oh, whoa. What in the hell? Get out of here. Ooh, hey. There we go. Must have been them. Increased damage plus plus. Alright. What? No, 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 no. He was shooting at me because I was in the way. Hot crossfire. First, I'm gonna put that up. 
so that it's not in the way anymore. We need that, distilled water. Didn't I already pick an objective? Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to pick another one. Or pick one again. So right now our main one is to get the enzyme. Yeah, that's what I want. In 10 years in this dump, I've come to accept a very low standard of life. But even at the bottom of this fish tank, a man must have standards. Uh -oh. I see the pathetic okay. Trudicu down at Morley Winery has started putting water to his terrible wine. Water! When I confront him with this fat Ow. Tells me, Pierre. Don't leave me out of that fight. Just fucking whittle down the big daddy's helmet so I can come in and finish, finish him off. Because I need me some Adam. I guess I don't really need it, but I want it. Basically, the, uh, the logic of every single splicer. Well, except they would convince themselves that they actually do need it. They wouldn't even acknowledge that they don't actually need it. Well, I guess, I don't know, it, it depends on what you categorize them needing it as, because if they are chemically dependent on it, then that means, you know, they run the risk of experiencing severe symptoms various symptoms of not having that chemical in their body anymore, so, I don't know. I'm no expert on how addiction works. It's a complicated topic, pretty controversial. I don't think it's my, uh, I don't think it's uh, really fitting for me to be going on about it. Considering I don't know as much about it uh, as think I ought to before going on a rant about it. Of course, I guess that's never really stopped me before, has it? But oh well, I'm not gonna get into it. Wow, he still has a lot of health. Alright, um... I think I wanna try. So let's go with... Okay, electric bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, we should be able to do this. I forgot that I had a uh, frag grenades. Let's go. starting to make it sound like we're heading the way that we need to be, but that's not necessarily what I'm trying to do. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, fully research them. Uh, unfortunately, I think I missed... Yeah, I, I didn't get to... Uh, Pack those security bots. Oh well. We will come across more eventually, and it seems like my Scott bot already died. Sorry, Scott. Uh, more horizontal ones. See, uh, like I mentioned in the last episode, it's a very good thing. That accidentally just pressing or clicking on one of those overload tiles doesn't just automatically... Oh no. It's an impossible one. Well, it's not technically impossible, but there's no way I can solve it now. <sighs> Alright. But like I mentioned in the last episode, it's very good that accidentally just selecting one of the overload tiles doesn't automatically blow you up. Because I do that quite a bit. Uh, not looking 
amazing. This way. This way. Horizontal. Wait. If I do this right, we shouldn't need any vertical ones. Um, here we go. Here we go. We're good. It was stressful, but we're good. Welcome to the let's get value. six. And then, looks like there are no... Get some more napalm. There are no Eve hypos in this one. Eh, that's okay. We're not really hurting for him, but it would be nice to buy a couple extra. Alright. So, luckily, I think the uh, issues with the network quality problems are gone. I don't really know what was causing them, to be honest, because I'm using the Ethernet cable that I've been using for the past, what, five? No, maybe six videos, something like that. Uh, maybe even, a, like, one, like, give or take one video. But, uh, I've been using it for all of those videos, and it hasn't given me the network quality problem, so I figured that, obviously, getting the cable fixed the problem, but apparently it hasn't. Uh, I guess sometimes, even with the Ethernet cable, our uh, home internet just isn't considered strong enough for this kind of stuff, but it's not going to stop me from doing it, because if I could do it in the beginning, and I had relatively no problems. I refuse to just stop because it suddenly wants to give me problems. Basically for no good reason. That's the way I look at it. Um... Looks like there's a lot of area to this area. Got another... Ow! fully researched these yet. Nice. I'm getting there, though. Uh, I don't think I've ever come across this encounter before. It doesn't really ring a bell. Nice. I'm not necessarily going after the main objective, I'm just trying to make sure I explore everything. I try and make it well known when I'm doing one or the other. So, what's... I don't know what the code for that is. I'm assuming maybe we'll find it... I'll do what you say. Somewhere around here. Okay, we need that distilled water. That is two out of seven. Uh, apparently, we got enemies coming this way. Oh god, it's impossible. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, it's too late. Okay, let's not have another one of those, please. That's the rough thing about it being randomly generated, is that you do not know what- Oh, it's impossible. Sometimes you just get fucked over. And there's really only so much you can do about it. Um... Okay, this one's actually not impossible for once. What the hell? I grabbed the wrong one, though. Oh, that almost went south. 
Dear Lord. <laughs> okay, Lazarus Vector. A newly invented chemical meant to restore vitality to dead to vegetable matter. See, okay, so I'm glad we know what this is now. It's a chemical. It's basically, as far as I can tell, exactly what I described earlier. A plant-based antidote for the poison that Andrew Ryan put through the air. But, I still don't understand why he did it. Was he just trying to kill us? Because, like, there's no way... They, they mentioned that Arcadia is the source of all of Rapture's oxygen. So by killing me and all of the plant life in Arcadia, he will kill all of Rapture. I just, I... I fail to see how that benefits him. Besides just doing a, like, kamikaze mission where he decides, well, if we're going down, I'm taking you down with us. Or something to that effect, but that just seems so irrational and drastic. Maybe that's the point? I don't know. I don't really want to fight that guy. Because <laughs> he doesn't even have a little sister with him. So, does not seem worth it. Uh, apparently there's something in here. Uh, but basically, I think we just need to keep On my walk looking today, around my for the components. Or the uh, various ingredients to concoct the Lazarus factor. She, an unwashed moppet in a filthy pink smock. <sighs> Too close together. Was off. Green and morbid. It was a rather unpleasant aspect to her demeanor, as if she were in an altogether different place than the rest of us. I understand the need for such creatures. See, this is where I'm tempted to take him on, because he's right here, in the water, waiting to be shocked. But, I'm gonna resist, because, as we're about to see, he's gonna knock on this vent, which is where the little sisters all kind of, like, uh... Like, it's the transportation, I guess, around the transportation system around all of Rapture for the little girls. And he knocked on it and none of them came out because we got the only one in this level. So, it's just, I don't think it's even worth it to take him on, especially considering I have less than like five uh, first aid kits. I can see the atom oozing out of the corner of her mouth. It's thick and green. Her filthy hair hanging in her face, dirty clothes, and that dead glow in her eyes. I feel hatred like I never felt before in my chest, bitter, burning fury. I can barely breathe. Get out of here! Suddenly I know. It is not this child I hate. Just double checking, looking around, trying to see if I could find a code to, where was it? Uh, right up here. But I could not find it, so I'm gonna try to hack it. And of course it's gonna be no walk in the park, because I think we're supposed to find the code for it. But I cannot, so I'm gonna try my hand at hacking it. All right, looks. Oh my god. Well, I guess. Oh, never mind. We're good. We're good. For a second, it looked impossible to me, but it was not. I guess my mind just kind of assumed the worst. I mean, you can't really blame me because we have already come across. Quite a few impossible ones. Um, Alright, so I don't I don't think there's Well we can go this way, but I'm not really sure we should. So okay, I'll get that first aid kit. 
Oh, okay, here's some stuff we can hack. Alright. Uh, uh oh, oh no, it's impossible. Technic. Oh no, it's impossible. Uh, that's so ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Look at this. Look at this! Dear God. Auto hack. At a certain point, it's just not worth it anymore. Alright, this one is way, like... This is ridiculous. Uh, I'm only gonna say ridiculous so many times, but this is insane. Alright, that one technically wasn't impossible, but we didn't have enough time. If this one's impossible, I'm just- I'm auto-hacking. I'm auto-hacking. Dear god, this is fucking stupid. Okay, gene tonic, that's cool. Eve Link, I'm not even using Eve Link 1, so... You know, it's nice to have it in the back pocket, but I don't think for my purposes it's really useful. Oh, we looped back around to our... Oh my god. Looped back around to our uh, RPG turret. I don't... I guess that... Houdini Splicer died. Um... Uh, there's a gene bank we can switch out if we want. I guess it might be nice to have a... Yeah, I never use a uh, security command, and I think I meant to switch it back out for Hypnotize Big Daddy anyways. Oh, Security Bullseye. In Bioshock 2, it's called Security Command, so... But I did mean to switch it back out for Hypnotize Big Daddy. Because I personally find it more useful. So, let's bring him along with us. Nice to have a little bodyguard. Uh, and then... Let's switch over to Electro Bolt. For any splices we may come across, we certainly will come across. Trying to just kind of make a bolt for whichever direction this arrow is pointing us to. Because I know that this uh, plasmid only lasts a certain amount of time. A rapture reminds me of the bottom of the ocean is but it can also connect. Why do they wear those masks? Maybe there's a pair of them that remember how they used to be, how they used to look. And they're ashamed. I think there's, uh, I don't know when it happens in relation to where we are in the game right now, but there is a much more, uh, at least for me, st stylistically appealing and, uh, just like, interesting part of the game um like i said i don't i don't know if it'll be the next level or the level after but you know don't think it's just gonna be a bunch of hunting around for uh components the entire time i don't consider what i'm saying to be uh spoiler whatsoever so. That bot, or that turret, was not afraid to light me up. Okay, let's go ahead and that there. I just like to go for, like, the most direct-looking route from point A to point B, based off what pieces are already there. Because my first instinct is not to change what's already placed there. Unless it just directly cuts across all the BS and gets me to the end of the uh, puzzle. Dear Lord. God. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Uh, okay. He's just doing what he thinks his job is. 
I already had it shot. There was no reason for him to shoot it. They're supposed to stop shooting. I guess he's not a bot, so, you know, whatever, but god damn. Well, and also part of what makes it so, like, upsetting is that he was injuring me in the process. So... I think the plasma's actually about to run out. There's some distilled water though. We've almost got all of that that we need. Oh no, I know the part that's... I think once we get all the distilled water, I know the part that's coming up after that. And I'm not ready for it. Uh, I think, though, because of the area we're in, we actually need to switch our main... Uh, I guess if you want to use Skyrim terms, it'd be a quest from the enzymes thing to the uh, distilled water thing. Uh oh. Okay. That almost had us messed up. I would have said another word, but I'm trying to slightly cut back on the profanity. I don't know, just because. Get my- Ah, oh, hell! Uh, see how long that lasted. Impossible. Okay, don't fuck me over like that again. Come on. Let me get from point A to point B without blowing up or setting off alarms. Is that too much to ask? Apparently. I guess what this is proof of is that I do actually need to get that... Uh, get a slot for that one tonic that takes away like one overload tile and one alarm tile. I forget what it's called, but... It's starting to look like we do, in fact, need that. But, like I said, and I will stand by this, I see the problem being that impossible situations like that are even possible. The fact that those are even, like, possibilities. Like, it seems like there should be some sort of restriction in place to prevent that so that even if it is hard it's still never impossible i hear some fucking splicer somewhere but i don't know where it is and i don't know where the big daddy went because i was gonna hypnotize him again and keep him as our bodyguard but he seems to have run off maybe he went this way I'm just gonna do that. I think like 90% of, well, maybe not 90% of the time, but most of the time I'd say it's best to just set off the, uh, the tripwires instead of just, instead of trying to relocate them, because chances are if you try to relocate them, you're just gonna get yourself hurt anyways. Because they will point back around at you and shock you. We're just still water. We've almost got all of it. All of it that we need to make the Lazarus Vector, but even once we get all of the distilled water, we're still not done because we gotta get all the enzyme samples. See, like, I know what we need to do, it's just what I've been having trouble grasping, even ever since before this episode, or before I even ever started playing this game on YouTube, was just, I don't see why he poisons everything. I just don't get it. I'm in. That's a leadhead splicer, so I've already got those fully researched. Hopefully, I'm thinking I can find a power to the people station in here. 
in this uh, area of Raptor. Okay, enemy trigger. Ooh, distilled water. We got it all. Alright, so... Damage increase on the machine gun might be nice, but, well, damage immunity from the grenade launcher. I think that's a slightly higher priority, because when we, whenever we fight big daddies, we're typically defaulting to the grenade launcher, and normally, we can't ever get as far away from a big daddy as we would prefer. So since we're going to be in close range, but we still need to do a lot of damage to it, I think that damage immunity is very important. That way we can toss as many uh, frag grenades and proximity mines at it as we want. Um, okay, so this is what I want to do. Uh, because the alarm was tripped off by an enemy, that means that all uh, security cameras cannot see us, even if they are enemy security cameras. So that means we don't need to hack them until the alarm is over, but it's best that we do. Just to have them on, on our side. Ahead of time. Instead of uh, just saying, ah, we're fine, and trying to like sneak past, but then getting caught in their cone of vision. Because we waited to hack them instead of just taking care of it. And then I think I am gonna. No, not telekinesis. Uh, hypnotize big daddy. Okay, hypnotize him again. Get him following us. Uh oh. Uh, here's somebody. Oh. Uh. No, 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 no. Not hit this thing to save my life. What's the fucking deal? Oh. I guess we're good. I don't know why I couldn't trip it. Normally if you shock it, it automatically... Well, not automatically. I feel like I use that word too much. Uh, it sets it off. Like it acts as if you had just run through it. But for some reason it didn't want to. Ah! Let's see, um, this is a lead head. So I've already pulled this Nice. Alright, there's our buddy. Um, because he... I've already explained this in a past episode, but because he is on our side, you can't see his health bar. You can't see the health bars of allies, but you can see the health bars of people who are neutral to you or enemies who are hostile towards you. And it's a good thing that it reminded me to load. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are you there he is. You can probably get him at some point. I'm not really setting it as a priority to take him down. Oh no. Yeah, alright. So, this one I'm not gonna name Scott because we already had a Scott. I'm oh, sorry, Scott. Uh, yeah, you're. Your bot did not survive very long. Wish it had, but that's just not the way the, the cookie crumbled. Let's see. Okay, there are not a lot of vertical ones. Um, I have to do a little bit of improvisation. Let's 
Yeah, that actually worked out pretty well. Turns out we didn't really need a lot of vertical ones. There we go. Gotta work with what you're given. Sometimes you can't, but if you can, try your damnedest. Alright. So, I think we just move on. I'm thinking, it's feeling like I'm, I'm out of time. So, I don't know if I am for sure. Oh no, I know the part we're at. Oh, I hate this part. I really do. I hate this part. Um, I don't really want a plasmid slot. That's too much. Although an engineering slot. It's probably what I'm after here. From a medical standpoint, this maybe is maybe it wants me to get insect swarm. I'm not entirely well, sure. It would make sense for the part we're about to face. Uh, well, I don't know. Huh. The the part that we're about to go through just is really bothersome. Uh, I'm gonna get an engineering topic slot. And then two fewer, one fewer alarm tile and one fewer overload tile. That's what I'm gonna go with. Um, and then physical tonics, combat tonics. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure I want any of the rest of this stuff. But uh, I don't really think it's too much of a cliffhanger to leave off right here. Basically, we're about to go through here, and there's gonna be a lot of bees. <laughs> and I know what I'm gonna title the next one, but uh, I don't know. I'll have to come up with something for this one. But anyways, that's for me to worry about. And uh, basically, all you need to know is that this one's done. <laughs> and uh, until the next video, Peace.